Hey YouTube, John here with Beer, Bourbon, and Bushcraft. Today I'm out at the forge. I've got some knives. I've got a heat treat. Um, I've got one that is I sell on my Etsy page. It's a tracker style. Nice knife, kind of swept blade style. I have a blade for a friend of mine who is a lieutenant in a field artillery unit and this blade is called the turban shitter it is a beast got the preliminary grinds done gonna heat treat it and then take it and sharpen this beast up and put some handles on it do a little etching for him and be going out then i have my third blade this goes out to gray fox at the sly fox tactical channel nice candy ground drop point Blade I have some nice camouflage scales on it. I'll be sending this out to Gray Fox uh, so he can have some fun with it. So stick around, be back, get the forge going up. We'll do some heat treating. Be fun. Yeah, I'm currently out of coal, to, so today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use charcoal, which works just as well. Uh, it doesn't burn as long as coal. Uh, I haven't had a chance to get out and pick any up yet, so we're just going to use some charcoal for this. The first stage we're going to do is normalize the metal. Since I've been grinding on it, cutting on it, I want to get it good and hot, red hot, and let it air cool to kind of give the metal molecules a chance to... Uh, leaving themselves out and get rid of any internal stresses before we go for a heat treat. Then we'll heat it up to non-magnetic and then quench it in canola oil. This is a all 1095 steel, so it'll get quenched in canola oil. So stick around. Okay, we got a nice fire going. It's gonna take uh, 10 or so minutes for that charcoal to burn down and get to coals. Uh, once that happens, then I'll turn my fan on, start blowing some air through there to get it super hot. Uh, with charcoal, I found I usually get uh, anywhere from 24 to 2700 degrees at the center of the fire, which is more than hot enough to reach the, I need, it's 1095 steel, it's uh, 516 thick, so it should be around 1450, 1475 will be my critical temperature I'm looking for. So I'll definitely easily get that uh, with this fire I got going. It's just gonna take a few minutes, so uh, stick around, we'll be back. Okay, it's getting nice and warm in there. So we're gonna go ahead and start normalizing. I'm gonna start with my Etsy tracker style blade. Get her good and hot. Then we'll just let it air cool and move on to the next one. Oh, and while they're normalizing, I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, touch mark on them once it, when they're red hot before they cool off. Um, it's a, a BBB for beer, bourbon, and bushcraft. So I'll put those on there uh, after they're hot enough. And now that it's starting to get hot, it's time to talk about a little bit of safety. Gloves, keep my hands safe, safety glasses, because I like my eyes, I like being able to see my gorgeous wife and my beautiful daughters. So make sure you're, if you're doing anything like this, you have the proper PPE on and keep yourself safe because you don't want to burn a hand, lose fingers, or lose eyes, lose your sight. So just make sure you keep yourself safe. See, she's glowing orange hot. 
That's good enough for normalization. I'm gonna put my touch mark on there and move to the next one. Now as those blades cool down, uh, once they get cooled down, then we'll heat them back up to critical temp and throw them in the oil. Okay, we're gonna get started now. The heat treats. It'll probably only take three or four minutes to get it heated up. And it's gonna go right in here. This is the canola oil. I let it cool down a little bit. Didn't feel any tings. I want to pull it out. If it's too cold, make sure we're nice and straight. Very good. That was a good quench. I'll let it sit. And pull down, swirl it around a little bit. Perfectly straight, no cracks, no dings. Awesome, that's what you want from a heat tree. Now we'll just set it aside and let her cool. We'll move on to the next blade. This one's for you, Gray Fox. Oh yeah, this one's a pretty blade. Gonna enjoy this one. Nice scanty grind on it. This is gonna be an awesome, awesome knife. Hope you enjoy it. Get that into the oil. Cool for a few seconds. No tings. Oh yeah, perfectly straight. Awesome. Let her cool down a little bit. We'll get this beast in the fire. This boy heat treated. Chris Cole can have him a knife to take with him over to Afghanistan. Go over there, shoot some, some field artillery at those tools. Oh yeah, good and straight, beautiful. File slides straight off of her. Good hardness. Awesome. That's gonna be a beauty, beauty of a blade. Oh wow, the sun came out. Kind of shocking being there. Kind of shocking being the middle of January. And I'm out here and I'm probably overdressed, but I like to keep my arms protected. It's probably 60 degrees here in central Kentucky in the middle of January. It's been raining for a couple weeks. We hardly had any freezes at all. Really, really strange winter this year, but I'm not complaining. This is good forging temperature. Summertime, it is so hot, but right now it's not too bad. Right, into the oil. Didn't feel any ting, so that's a good sign. 
little bit. Oh yeah, beautifully straight. Awesomeness, awesome. Love it when a plane comes together. Now, the last time I, last time I quenched blades, I was doing five, and I ended up losing one. Got a severe crack in it. Don't know what happened. Uh, did my normal process, but four out of five, I guess, isn't too bad. So losing one, actually, uh, that would be the second that I've lost in heat treating out of all the blades I've made, which is a lot. Um, I have them hanging upstairs in my, my finishing room just as a reminder to always think, don't skip steps, and sometimes stuff happens. You just gotta move on. So, pounded out a new knife, reheat treated, and got it done. All right, so the next step is I'm gonna take these blades in the house, I'm gonna clean them up. I use Dawn dishwashing detergent, wash them off, dry them up real good, and then they need tempered. Since this is 1095 steel, I temper them at 425 degrees for an hour. Let them air cool down to room temperature. Again, at 425 for an hour, down to room temperature, and then again. I do three tempers on them. What that does is relieves any stress into it, and I usually end up at a Rockwell hardness of around 54 to 56 with 1095 steel, which is good. So I'm going to head in the house and start getting that done. Probably try and get this video thrown up. So I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, love reading your comments, uh, getting a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for that. Um, if you want, drop down, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Give me any ideas on what you'd like to see in the future. So until next time, I'm John with Beer, Bourbon, and Bushcraft. See ya.